Social anxiety disorder is actually very common. Uh, estimates are about 7% uh, in any 12 months uh, in Australia and, and, and elsewhere, about 11% lifetime um, um, incidence. And what we're talking about with social anxiety disorder, it's not just shyness or introversion. It, it, this is uh, a syndrome where people are, have a very much a deep fear of being judged, of being in social environments. It really impacts their everyday lives and how they navigate their workplace and social situations. And um, current treatments are psychological treatments or medication. But there is a large unmet medical need uh, to try and come up with solutions that would be better. Yeah, and so to show a link between uh, our gut bacteria and this disorder, you set out to alter the gut bacteria of mice. Uh, talk us through the process that you went through. Yeah, so for 15 years or more, our group here in APC Microbiome Ireland and many groups around the world, including many uh, groups in Australia, have been linking what's going on in our gut with what's going on in our brain. And um, a lot of the studies do rely on having um, mouse models to be able to, to tease that apart. But what we need to really do in the field is move away from just correlation towards causation. So we showed work from psychiatrists Mary Butler and Ted Dynan showed last year that the microbiome in individuals with social anxiety disorder is different than those in um, and healthy controls. But what we wanted to do in this study was, well, what if we took the microbes and gave them to animals and what would we see? And one of the things that we saw was a very specific change in behaviors related to social fear. So the animals, when they went in, in, in contact with another mouse, and, and mice are very social, so when they're in contact with other mice, they, they, they enjoy this. However, um, we give them a small, mild uh, foot shock and therefore they, they, they learn to not to go near that mouse. However, over time, they extinguish this um, um, uh, over repeated um, uh, exposures. And what we found was in the, in the mice that had been given microbes from patients with social anxiety disorder, they weren't able to, they, they continued to have fear of this uh, normal mouse, even though there was nothing uh, aberrant with it. So this was really one of our first discoveries to really causally link that there's something in the microbiome uh, that is shaping social circuits in the brain that is underpinning social anxiety disorder. And that, is, you know, for us, that's a really good uh, starting point now to try and understand the mechanisms uh, and then perhaps to develop uh, therapeutic options that might be uh, useful for patients. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we're seeing more and more research showing this link between our gut bacteria and our brains. So were you surprised by these results or did they seem kind of um, like they would make sense given the other research that's out there? Yeah, no, it, 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 what was surprising here was the specificity because we didn't, most of the, the, the analysis we did initially were, was negative and we found very little changes uh, in, the, in, in the totality. But when we started looking specifically at social fear uh, uh, related behaviors and brain areas, that's when we, we, we got a real eureka moment here. So it was um, gratifying to see that there's something, it builds on all of our work to show that there's something about the social brain. Uh, in particular that makes it sensitive to microbial signals. And this has also ramifications, as you allude to, beyond just social anxiety disorder, but to other disorders with, with sociability uh, at the heart of them, whether it's related to autism or the social deficits in schizophrenia. And, and so what do we take from this then? I mean, obviously it's important to look after our gut flora. Is this something that we can do day to day through the things that we eat, for instance? Absolutely. Um, we showed in, in, in a study um, last year uh, that by really ramping up fermented foods and uh, fiber um, in the diet, you could really uh, have a beneficial effect uh, in healthy volunteers in terms of how they deal with stress. Work from Deakin University, uh, from Felice Jack has shown, you know, really having a, a, a mod modified Mediterranean diet that's really good for your microbes uh, lowers depression levels. So we're beginning to see that diet approaches might be a way here. However, I will uh, caution that we need to do these studies in this specific population, people with social anxiety disorder.